The Silent Aral stands for Accessible, Relevant, and Alternative Learning. Aral actually started like four years ago. Uh, it's an initiative uh, by Brother Armin Luisro and uh, the Saints Co. and from CSB. It started as a initiative for street families. Um, after two years, it evolved into the um, alternative learning system where we engaged uh, out-of-school youth from District 5 and provide them with basic education. Um, the project actually is in line with the non-formal education program of DepEd. For uh, some time now, there has been a statistical rep report on the high incidence of out-of-school youth in many parts of our country. And therefore, the non-formal education through ALS is a mechanism to address such. Maaga po ako nakapaghinto sa pag-aaral dahil kailangan po pong tulungan yung mother ko dahil hiwalay po yung magulang ko. So, bali nagtrabaho po ako ng mga nag po ako ng 16. 18 years ako nagtatrabaho na taguyod ko naman po yung kapatid ko nakapagtapos siya. Naging matagumpay na seaman. Sa ngayon po, dahil online business ang pinagkakabalahan ko, naisip ko na mag-aral. Nag-back to zero po talaga ako dahil sa matagal akong hindi nakapag-aral. Bali, marami po akong natutunan kay Miss Abby, kay Sir Bench po, Benjamin Cruz, sa Lasallian Brothers, mga pag-uugali, paano makikisama tungkol sa... Paano magnegosyo? Gusto ko mag-aral ko kasi gusto ko rin na matapos yung secondary ko para mapatunayan ko sa sarili ko na kaya ko rin po. May pangarap din ako na mapag-aral. nag po ako kasi po para po makatapos po ako ng high school. Ito na po yung second chance ko na para makatapos kasi po dati nagloko po ako na pabalkada kasi po nagre-rebelde ako dati. Pero ngayon po, inaayos ko na po talaga yung Pag-aaral ko dito sa ALS. Gusto ko rin po makapag-college kahit po sana mag-working student na lang din ako. Para din po kasi sa anak po, para po magkaroon din siya ng magandang future, hindi yung hindi po nakakatulad nung sa akin. There are many challenges though even we are implementing right now. One of which is of course to really involve the internal stakeholders of the university particularly in the engagement and volunteering aspects. So we encourage our faculty, our personnel, our students, and individuals who are like-minded in this project, in this localization, who value quality education, especially for the marginalized poor. Because after all, we want them to really finish high school. And we also want them to also graduate in their tertiary education so that eventually we can say that, that the Aral as a localization project really help them in the process of them being educated and being productive in society.